it's press the later to games duck i'm here and today we are at the denver Astro astronomical society or daz's dark site um which is out kind of in the middle of nowhere and it's really good for viewing stars and um i actually find it really cool that the denver astronomical society is called daz because it's like dark matter the tv show which is really awesome and then that's called dark matter so it's like space and interstellar objects and also Dark Matter is filming again, which I'm really excited about. I'm probably really late to this news, but I'm definitely really excited about that. So it's all kind of meta, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to be out here. We're gonna try and film as much as we can before it gets too dark. Um, so that hopefully you guys will see a bit of like space video, even if it gets a bit dark. So um, the first thing that you kind of see is they have these telescope pads with litter po litter, little power outlet hooks, hook up things that they can connect their telescopes to. If you have like a motor rig or something that requires electricity, then you can plug it in and use these little telescope pads, which I think are really nice. Uh, we don't have a telescope, we just kind of brought some binoculars and a spotting scope that we used in Yellowstone. Were we even vlogging when we went to Yellowstone? So we did Yellowstone, we went to Yellowstone. You guys weren't even here for that. Um, but we went to Yellowstone and we had we bought a little spotting scope so we could look at the wolves because my obsession with the, at the time was wolves. So now we can use it for space. And yeah, right now there's a really pretty sunset which is fine to look at, but then I'm really excited. You might be, even be able to see like the Milky Way from here, which I'm really excited about, but I'm so excited to see something out in the middle of nowhere with no light pollution because light pollution has just been something that I've seen while looking at the stars because we live in, our, we just kind of go out in our backyard and look up and then there's some stars. Um, but now we'll be able to see it without all the light and I'm really, really You'll excited. You'll see a lot that. more stars is primarily what you'll see. Yeah. Um, the magnitude. Yeah, the magnitude of the stars because like you can't see Polaris. Like almost, yeah. you, can, you yeah. almost can't see Polaris. You can only see very bright stars. And I'll be able to see like, um, like up to fours or something yeah. like that in the house, but you'll be able to see like much past that here. Yeah, I'm really excited because I can see a lot of stars that I can't see at the house uh, because all the light pollution blocks out the stars. You can hardly see Polaris, um, but here I'll be able to see so many more, which I'm really excited about because um, even with my glasses on, there's just like the slightest faint trace, and I like I know there's a star there, but mm -hmm. I can't see it. Mm -hmm. um, so today, hopefully, I'll be able to see those stars. Okay, so they have this really cool little warming hut with a red light so that you don't blind people because red light is what you use when you're out and stargazing and you don't want to blind yourself using a normal flashlight and lose your eyes being used to the stars. So they use red lights. So the, red, the light in here is red and they have beach, a beach chair. I don't know why they have a beach chair. They have a beach chair and then they have a microwave in here uh, which you can use to like make hot drinks and stuff like that. And as well as they have posters and star charts and stuff like that. Um, and they also have instructions of, to what to happen if there's an emergency and if you were bitten by a snake. Fun. I am on top of the car right now currently and I'm going to kind of take a look um, at the skies from here. I think it's a really good spot because I can just kind of lay down and not really have to worry things. And I love climbing things. I love going up. but. The bigger problem is when I start to go try and go down. Um, but so far I'm pretty cool. I'm just gonna kind of sit here, observe some things, and maybe we'll take out the tripod and be able to take some pictures with you guys and the camera and with, and we'll be able to use the spotting scope a little bit more because I actually have really shaky hands. So it's a bit of a, tr of a problem when I try and observe things. But I'm gonna try and get a good look at these. Okay, so it's obviously the next day. Um, we left really late, so I fell asleep in the car, and we didn't really have time to shoot a good wrap-up. Um, but it's the next day, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about what we did. So when we first got there, you could actually see Mars and Venus really well. And it's really cool not only to be able to see planets, I could actually identify, like, that's Venus, that's Mars. I could be able to identify that, and that was really cool, just like such a cool experience to sort of know these things. And then later, you could actually like see so many stars, like so much so it was really hard to find the constellations. Um, because there are so many stars and you can even see a little bit of the Milky Way and it was just absolutely gorgeous out there um, The camera didn't actually do it much justice, but um, it's just so much more be so beautiful um, But yeah, if you guys live in the Denver area, you should definitely check out the, just the Denver Astronomical Society and a huge thank you to the people that were there yet yeah, last night um, for actually letting us look through their scopes and showing us where some things are. It was really, really good, and just thank you guys so much. And if you guys are in the Denver area, then please check out the Denver Astronomical Society. So press the subscribe button down below if you want to see more of our astronomy studies in more space, because who doesn't like space? So yeah, 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!